Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, thanks to Calgary Records, we're going to be going over one of my favorite releases so far this year. I've been meaning to go over this for the past month and a half, and that is Scolopendria's Those of the Catacombs. Nuclear War Now did the vinyl version. Caligari put out the cassette of some sleazy, ripping, evil, ancient sounding death metal from Italy. I love this stuff. But wait, how come the vocals sound like black metal? That's because this is not trendy death metal. This is not knuckle dragging caveman death metal that makes you require to dress like a pro wrestler from 1992 to listen to. No. This is ancient, evil-sounding death metal for fans of ancient, evil-sounding death metal. I could have swore these guys were from, like, Chile, but when I found they were from Italy, I was just like, all right, like, that makes sense. Italy has such a gnarly death metal scene, and it's not just technical death metal out there, because... I mean, the title alone, Those of the Catacombs, which also has its uh, Italian um, translation at the bottom. But it's real cool, like you have Ladio Ascaro and Lado Macabro. And I'm sorry, I do not have any sort of Italian accent. I know zero words in Italian. Uh, I took German in high school because I figured I would get an A because of my last name, but I got like a C. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got a $10 Necrophagia t-shirt because somebody, I watched somebody be an asshole and it was a bigger label, so I didn't feel like that big of an asshole. All right, so they had a like batch of regular t-shirts and then a batch of misprints. I see this kid take this from the regular pile and put it in the misprints and then he walks away. And I'm like, oh shit. And I go over, it's a size larger than I normally wear. That's why it's like huge. I haven't washed it yet. And I have my neck brace on so it's stretching out the uh, collar so it looks a lot bigger like this thing is it is pretty big but it's a sick shirt i don't give a fuck but uh yeah the kid i guess uh you know he wanted to get a discount but karma got him and i came up and snagged it so because i was like hey i was like what's the misprint on here like trying to let the guy know like hey why is this in the misprint section and he was like oh like it could be because uh, we um, ju just might have had like a little bit of overstock, so we just put it in there. So I was like, okay, like whatever, you know, like seriously, there's nothing wrong with this shirt at all. But that's a tale for a different day. One day we'll get a copy of Season of the Dead and go over it so we can talk about necrophagia. Rest in peace, Killjoy. But in the meantime, like, if you're a fan of Necrophagia, like, I would check this out just because it has that ancient death metal sound to it. Although this is a lot more, like, I would say obscure proto-black metal at times. Like that.
like some mortuary drape vibes, which is fucking great. Anytime you hear a band that, you know, has a little bit of mortuary drape in their sound, it's always great. But uh, Skullapendria, this is one of my just current favorite bands. They play the type of death metal I want to hear at the moment. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm like looking around and still one of my favorite releases of the year is some Chinese death metal on Rotted Life from uh, Multifission. But this is right up there. This is so good. Just because it's not what you would expect. Like, I'm telling you, this is so on the money. Like, the way with the, like, the keyboards in the back, it's fucking great, man. But this is one of those releases, like, I, I really need to buy the LP of, because I listen to this, like, constantly. I really, really love Skullapendria's sound. Everything about those of the Catacombs. This is a 10 out of 10. Definitely one of my favorite releases of the year. I don't know if the, uh... LP has dropped yet on Nuclear War Now, but if it hasn't, keep your eyes open, but Caligari does still have copies of this ripping slab of death metal with proto-black metal elements. It's just fucking awesome. If you like extreme metal from the past in the future... You can't go wrong with Skullpendria, those of the catacombs. This is death metal for fans of true death metal. And that doesn't mean to say that bands like, you know, Internal Bleeding aren't true death metal. That's a different form of death metal. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. This is not like, for example, just because it's right in my sight. To be compared with something like Broken Hope, Swamped and Gore. This is night and day with Broken Hope. So it's not that type of death metal release. Like, keep that in mind. Like, this has a lot more in common with, like, superstition. It's very just ripping. But the... It, it's just... It, the atmosphere, everything about this is just a massive fuck yeah Caligari Records... Nuclear War Now, as always, on fucking point and crushing the underground. Skullapendria, those of the catacombs, Caligari Records, on the, did the cassette, and Nuclear War Now did the CD and vinyl, I think. I know they did the vinyl. I don't know if they did the CD, honestly. Caligari might have. Not entirely sure off the top of my head. But you can't, you really can't go wrong here. Every track's great. <laughs> Priest Blood Soup, The Smell of Cadavers, Crypt of Perversion, First Class Coffin. There's just great tracks on here. So get into some zombies feasting. And blast Skullapendrias, those of the catacombs. This is grade A, top shelf death metal. If you don't believe me, ask the fishes. They can sing, they can dance, don't believe me. I wear sweatpants and I'm telling you that Skullapendria is great. So go to Caligari Bandcamp 
or go to their store V. Pick up a copy. Vital Vana Vlog. Thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule. Hails.